When you run ls-l, you will see every file has 10 attributes. The first attribute indicates whether a file is a directory, a symbolic link, or an ordinary file. The next three blocks denote the owner permissions, and each file can have read, write, and execute permissions sent against them, by using the chmod command as shown here. The fifth, sixth, and seventh blocks denote the group permissions. For instance, if you have a group of accountants, and you want them to have read and execute permissions against a file, then you would use the chmod g plus r and chmod g plus x permissions. The final three blocks denote the permissions for everyone else, and should be set to the absolute lowest permissions required. File permissions can be amended by using numbers as well. The read permission is equal to 4, write equal to 2, and execute equal to 1. Therefore, you can set the permissions for a file by adding the numbers you want together. For instance, if you want read and execute, you add the 4 to the 2 given 6. You set the number for owner, group, and everyone else, and so you must give three digits to the chmod command.